today's heyday, so we're going to town to get some hay. Plus, Darren and Emily got some money they made on the ranch they're dying to give to Walmart. So, let's go spend some money. Yeah, get two on each side of the trailer and What are you going to do with the phone? Make YouTube videos again. We'll see. <laughs> so we're putting the hay away. About to cover it back up, and I go to pick up this tarp, and there is an itty bitty tarantula. Oh, he's pretty cute, actually. We have to find him some shelter for a little bit. We got the hay covered up just in time before it started raining. We ran all the does back to the corral with it with it coming down pretty good and look at it. I am glad we put them away because it is really coming down. I'd open the door but it's hailing. You can hear it hitting the door. How you doing? Hi girls. It was a big storm, huh? We've just been leaving them out in the pasture for sprinkles and stuff. But that was a big one. We could see it coming and we ran them back just in time. It's a straight gully washer. Hi, Don. Hi guys. After it rains, these flying ants come out. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Bye. So we got a big rain and while I was at work, which we've wanted. This yard has needed it. So, the girls aren't very happy. It looks a little bit darker than it typically is because of all the rain cover. And we're getting sprinkled on, but that's okay. Hi, girls. All right, we ready? Are you mad? We're all mad. Lily, where's the baby girl? There's Laura. All right, let's get you girls milk. All right, it's definitely sprinkling on us, but that's okay, because we love the rain around here. And the baby girls are doing really good. So they've been introduced to the herd, and they're like literally part of the herd. Of course, they're the underdog, so they're going to get bumped and shoved and headbutted from time to time, but all in all, it really has gone very well this week for them joining the herd. So they're, they're getting really good at running with the herd. They're going, you know, going out to feed and graze all day and coming back to feed and graze all day and just doing awesome with it. So, you guys see them? They're on the end. See little Laura and Lodi. And Abilene's up there in the mix. You can't see her, she's in between two big girls. But either way, I'm gonna get these goats milked. 
so they'll st quit screaming at me. All right. <laughs> Are you mad? A couple sprinkles? <laughs> ah. All right, so my intention was to wax this cheese this evening. It is almost a week old, but I see little moisture pockets coming out, little sweat beadlets, if you will. So it needs at least another 24 hours, so maybe even 48. Because I want to make sure that there's no moisture coming out of it when I do wax it, because otherwise then it's gonna the moisture will come up and cause bubbles in the wax, and then you have to cut those bubbles and re-wax it, and I don't want to deal with that. So it's still really, really springy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's very springy still, which is what we want. So it's it's good. It's good. It's doing what it's supposed to do. It. I just want to eat it, but um, I won't. So anyway, I'm gonna wait 24 to 48 hours at least to make sure make sure all these beadlets are kids in the background. Anyway, I'm gonna make sure the beadlets of sweat, if you will, the moisture coming out of it, are no longer coming out of it before I actually wax it and seal it. So I wanted to wax it. It's pretty though. Alright, I'm gonna put it back in the hillbilly cave. Tarantula. Stop moving, yo. It's hard to see. What is this, babe? It's a whip scorpion, I believe. A giant one. That thing is like the size of my foot, and it's disgusting. And my husband is going to have to kill it. Oh. Got ourselves another tarantula. Ooh, ooh. You're all right, buddy. The creepy crawlies of the desert. He don't like you. He wants to run up my leg. See his eyes right there? With all the rains, we got more toads. This sucker's huge. So back in the garden, it is humid today, but we got a good rain yesterday, and the garden is a lot happier today. Good soaking. So, but we got a bunch of tomatoes that we gotta get out here and pick before all of these birds eat them. Darn birds. This is what we got before the birds eat it all. These are delicious. What are you doing? You like you silly. Huh? You silly. Huh? All right, Emily, what'd you do? I made a little cave with a waterfall and a pond and an island where they catch the fish. It's just that there is no fish. Yeah, so there's this little hill, kind of, with a rock in the middle right there, and then it has a little bed neck thing. This is that island where they just kind of leave, and then this is their little mud bath. Yeah, this is a bone, and then in the cave there are like all these sticks, which those are the bones of animals, yeah, and then I don't really know what this is, so, yeah, and then... It's like this is where they go in. Like there's a mud bath for the mom wolf. And then they just kind of walk around having fun and stuff. Yeah. I really didn't plan the whole thing out, really. Well, it looks cool. It is. Dad, don't, don't um, press the animal. Oh, now you're I don't know that Grandpa again. likes Can that. It's a little bit better. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now, this is cool. You may not get to see him again now. Wait. This is what's real fun. Let's see if you can catch him. 
<laughs> throwing yeah, berries at each other. Are you tagging? <laughs> Michael, tag baby. Tag me. <laughs> there is a huge storm coming. The sky is black behind you guys. And we're going to move them back a little bit early. So that way they got some cover. You ready? You boys hear what's coming? Hello goat lovers, this is Crystal with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats. What started with four chickens and two goats quickly grew into a lifestyle. So we moved, got more land, and of course, more goats. Follow our adventures as we grow our herd, our food, and our family.